just when things started to heat up on the restaurant scene, a setback. Restaurants that could be half full must revert to 25% capacity on Friday. Six Oregon counties, including Multnomah and Clackamas, are returning to the high risk level from moderate because of increasing COVID cases. That means more restrictions for an industry where workers have been struggling for more than a year. Uh, we have team members that aren't going to get as much hours. They, a lot of them make uh, a lot of their money off from tips. That means we're not going to have as much volume for them to be able to take care of themselves like they normally can. Jim Rice and his wife own the Fields Bar and Grill in the Pearl. It's been tough with a pandemic virtually shutting them down at times and destruction caused by rioters forcing them to board up earlier this year. Today, they are setting up inside for lunch customers. Pre-pandemic, this place employed 21 people. It dropped to three. It's now back to 16. I feel badly for them because they've been struggling and now they have to start all over again. Neighbors like Candace and Patrick Stevens feel for their favorite dining spots. Some, like Eric Rant, say the best way to help is to order a lot to go. I, I get it. I love it. Everybody wants to go out and have a nice beer a few times a week. Come on, this is rough, especially now, right? But but at the same token, you just have to balance that the decision making at this. And I, I'm not there yet. For Jim Rice, I just like to understand how she makes these decisions. He's got some frustration with Governor Kate Brown over this. He feels at 50% capacity, they were offering safe indoor dining. Cutting back to 25% just plain hurts. Because ultimately it impacts our team members and our team members are like our family. And watching it, it's painful. So how long will these counties be at the high risk level? Well, it's hard to say. Health officials will be watching to see if the increase in cases represents a bump that will go down or a trend that will continue. Tim Gordon, KGW News.